What's up, YouTube land? Welcome to another episode of Toothpicks, where I sit here and I share some of my favorite barbecue recipes out on my backyard smokers and grills. So come with me. We're going to be doing hot and fast pulled pork out on the WSM, the Weber Smoky Mountain, something I've never done before. We're going to try to do this in six to eight hours. Hey, you know, I'm a low and slow guy, but if you want tender, juicy pulled pork just like this, stay tuned. It's going to get good. Toothpicks. So, all right, guys, we got the BNB charcoal. We're gonna get the infamous string out so we can prepare to pour some of the charcoal right up in the basket of the WSM. Now, I got some old charcoal in here, but I'm gonna pour some more on the top so we can get a full basket and a full burn. I'm gonna be using some post oak and some apple wood because, you know, apple is real good for pork. So, you know, if you're using anything else, you know, it may give you some different flavors, but that sweet taste with the full pork is always good. Now I want to pour some more BNB charcoal right on top of that to smother the wood so we can get a good slow burn throughout our cook. That is key to be doing. You don't want to burn it off real fast. Now I got the grill gun out. The grill gun is going to help get this thing rolling. Hey, I got a link in the description if you want to get a discount off that. Look at the bottom, check that out. Now that we have it all burning, we're going to set the WSM top side on top of the bottom rack or the bottom part of the smoker get it all situated get it turned out get it level make sure you do that you don't want any other smoke leaking out now you see there's some smoke leaking out that door but they got some modifications you can do i might be doing some of those in the future now we don't want that dirty smoke so we want a clean burning fire i'm going to get some water put up in this pan i'm going to go ahead and fill it up some people don't use it for hot and fast but i like moisture in there go ahead and get it closed go ahead and get the top vent set and get it up to temp we're going to go inside we're going to go ahead and get this bad boy seasoned up as we got this pork butt sitting in the drip easy barbecue prep tub i got some spicy brown mustard i'm going to be using today i got some homemade rub i put together real quick you know you can use whatever you want but we're going to give this a good shake you know we got a little bit of sugar in it got some other spices in there you want to get those clunks out so go ahead and get your mustard put on the top now you don't need a lot but just you know kind of use your guess or how much you want to put on here just enough to slather to get this rub to stick now essentially yeah you can use some olive oil you can use whatever you want you can put hot sauce if you want but you know, I'm choosing a spicy mustard now. I do like Cajun mustard also, Zatarin's, but I can't find it anywhere lately. That is some of the favorite mustard I like to use. But you wanna get it put all over on the sides, you know, some of the crevices that are inside this pork butt. You never know how it comes out through the butcher, but you wanna get it all in there. So now I'm gonna take some of this rub I got, make sure I give it another shake. I see a couple more clunks in, so I really want to get those out because I'm going to be putting this in a little barbecue shaker I found on Amazon now. Guys, you can get this on Amazon. I'll put the link down at the bottom for everything I'm using. I'll try to do my best to post it, but let's go ahead and get this in the shaker and let's go ahead and start putting it on our pork butt. So I got it in the shaker. Now look at this. All mixed up very well. Every now and then when you're putting this on your pork butt or your pork shoulder, you want to shake the shaker up and get it evenly distributed. I like a little, you know, kind of a heavy coat on it because I like a good crust on it uh, as well. You can put as much as you want. Typically, yes, you can do this overnight and let it sit. You put the mustard on the night before or you can put the mustard in the rub or whatever your binder is and let it sit for maximum flavor. But for the point of this video, I'm going to go ahead and get it seasoned up because I got my smoker coming up the temp outside and we want to get this on today. I want to treat it like I'm pressing for time and I decided last minute to do a pork butt or a pork shoulder, you may say, um, and I just need something to eat for the family in the afternoon. Now I got this turned over on the fat cap. This, this is where this binder really comes in. It's going to make it stiff because typically anything with fat on the top of it, say like a brisket, it's kind of hard to make it stick. Uh, unless it's got a little um, more wetness on it when you pull it out the bag after you get it wiped off or whatever, however you do your briskets. But same thing with pork butt. You want to go ahead and apply it to that binder up top because we're going to be setting it on the bottom of the meat and the fat cap up 
doing my hot and fast. I don't know how some of you guys do it out there, but that's how I'm going to be doing it today. And once you got all this put on and you got it evenly coated, you know, so that, you know, presentation, the way I like to look when it's on a smoker, let's go outside and get ready to put this bad boy on. Now I got my smoker up to Tim. I'm going to be running this around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you will get some fluctuation in your temps, but that's okay. Go ahead, make sure you keep adjusting your vents throughout. You want to keep it at 300. Sometimes it might jump to 315, but you know, just get it back down. Get your meat on your rack, just like I did right there. Center it up. Go ahead, we want to get the lid closed. And also at the same time, we want to go ahead and adjust our vents at the top. Our bottom ones are already adjusted. If not, do that right then. And hey, we'll come back and we'll check on it. So the pork butt has been on the WSM for about one hour. So now I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of apple juice spritz. I'm gonna open it up. And you see, it's already having the skin starting to, you know, not the skin, the fat starting to draw back right there. Getting some color already. So we're gonna hit it with a little moisture. And I do got some water in the bottom of the pan. That's about it right there. And that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna close it up and we'll come back out here another about another hour and give it another spritz. All right, so we're outside. It's been about four hours and look, I wanna just show you Weber Smoky Mountain is holding at 300. I haven't had add any fuel except a couple chunks of wood here and there and maybe a little water to the water pan since I am running hot and fast. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab my thermometer over here, okay. I'm gonna keep this camera steady, okay. And we're gonna go ahead and open this. Ooh, boy, look at that. That is looking good. Look at that bark. That's what we want right there, guys. And just to show you where we're sitting at internally, internally. 155s right there, 164, 165, come over here, 167. Okay, so we're gonna pull this out and this is where you wanna go ahead and put it in your little foil pan. I'm gonna show you how I do that. Put a little apple juice in there, put a little butter. Okay, so let's step over here to the tape and get this thing off. All right, it's time to get this bad boy off. Let's go ahead and open this back up, okay? Got me some Black gloves, got my liners on there. You want to be safe. So let's go ahead, grab it right here. Go ahead and put it in your pan right there, just like that. Now, I have some apple juice. So I'm gonna put about maybe half to uh, half a cup in there. Around the pan so it can braise a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna put your butter in there. You got about five tablespoons of butter. Give it a little flavor. Put one on top, even though that's gonna melt off. Okay, gonna get one in the corner right there. All right, so then you wanna go ahead and get your some foil. You wanna go ahead and get that all around there, get it real tight around the edges. So, it can, well, you know, keeping that heat, that's what you wanna do. We're gonna let this joker go once I put this back on. I'm not gonna even touch it. I'll come back maybe about after an hour, hour and a half, and just check the temp through the top. But that's about it. All right, so it's time to get this bad boy back on. Right there. Go ahead, give it a close. And it should come back up, and we'll come back out here and check temp. And hopefully this thing is about ready. And it's been about, shoot, by then, maybe about six hours. And we've been on, achieved our goal. So, uh, hey. Stay tuned, let's see how it goes. All right guys, so we're back inside. This pulled pork has been smoking for about six and a half hours. Over the six, I thought it was gonna go, but I wanted to make sure it got to the proper temp, which was about 203, 205 in some areas. And I let it rest for about 30 minutes. Okay, so that WSM, the Weber Smoky Mountain, I've never done this on that smoker. I've only had it for less than a year, so I'm trying some new things on it. Um, different cooks. So let's go ahead and get this pulled pork shredded. So I'm going to go ahead 
and open this. I haven't looked at this yet, guys. Ooh, and it is sitting in some juice. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put it on the cutting board and put this pan to the side, but we're not gonna throw this juice out. Now look, I can barely pick that up. Okay, go ahead and put it on there. It's, it's already falling apart. Look at it. All right. Put this back right here. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go ahead and take out this bone so let you know that this thing is clean and done. That's it right there. That's what you want. Now let's go ahead and see how this shreds up. Now this right here, guys, man, it looks so good. It smells so good. I'm just gonna do just like that. And that's how your full pork butt should come out. Look at this, perfect. It's steaming hot still. It's not like brisket. You don't have to let it sit for three or four hours or longer. Some people let brisket sit for longer, but pulled pork, it's already done the way it's gonna come out. As long as you cook it to temp, you really can't mess this up, guys. Once we get all this cooked up right here, what I like to do is I like to take this and just kind of throw it all back in my juice. All right, put it all back, get it all shredded up. Okay, just like that. Now, it's so hot, I'm scared to taste it because <laughs> I want to burn myself. But let's go on and find a piece while I'm putting all the rest of this in here. And let's go ahead and give it a taste, okay? Now, now that I have everything all in this pan, of juice. That's why we put that apple juice and butter in here so we can mix it right back up. This is going to ensure if you make a mistake, you still have a way to, you know, fix it. Another thing I like to do, take off this glove right here. Okay, put it to the side. I like to take some of my rub and I like to hit it all over it. Not too much, it's already got the season in there, but it just adds a level of complexity to it. Mix it up a little bit. Now, we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. I want that little piece right there. See if I can show that on camera. Can you see that right there? That looks good right there. Get it on the cutting board. Should be able to shape it in a ball if you want, just like that. Mm. See how it goes. Mm. Mm. That's perfect. Just how I like it. So guys, hot fast, cool pork. Done in six hours. You don't have to do a full ten hours if you want to. You know, you can start this and do it just like a brisket. But other than that. Hey, it's been a good one. Stay tuned for more toothpicks. Mm. What's up guys, so we're back inside. Of course we're back inside. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they see I'm inside, why don't I say I'm inside? <laughs> All right. Maybe that'll get this time. <laughs> you can look, you can look, you can look here to, like the, the silence of the ghost. <laughs> 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 okay, All right, here we go. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right, here we go, seriously. All right, what's up guys? So we finished the pulled pork. Now this is a hot fast method. I've never done this before. And it is the first time I've cooked a pulled pork shoulder or pork butt, which is... <laughs> okay. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't, no, don't stop it, don't stop it. <laughs> Just stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to get without laughing. <laughs> I'm 
Okay, Jim, if you laugh, they go, oh, I don't care. Just go. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta stop it. You gotta All right, stop just it. stop it.